On the 15th of May 2023, Chessington World of Adventures Resort opened Mandrung Mayhem, their brand new B&M quadruple launch family boomerang wing coaster. That's a mouthful. But the question on everyone's mind was, this coaster is so unique, but is it any good? Well, in this video, I will give my full review of this absolutely crazy family roller coaster. But before I get into it, if you enjoy this review, make sure to like the video. And if you want to see more reviews like this in the future, press the subscribe button. Thanks. So for this review, I'll go through the full experience of the world of Jumanji. So right away when you enter the park, you're greeted with Mandrill Mayhem and the massive Jaguar off to the right, which looks absolutely incredible, especially with Dragon's Fury to the left. The two coasters complement each other really nicely. And when you come around the corner and see the massive sign with Mandrill Mayhem's inversion going over it, it's just so cool. The entirety of the world of Jumanji is incredibly well themed and works so well for Chessington, with Jumanji's jungle theme fitting into the park very nicely. Of course, your eyes are instantly drawn to that huge jaguar structure, which looks amazing with the vines and vegetation, and the jaguar's eye jaw glowing when the coaster goes around it. Oh, if this doesn't prove I'm a roller coaster enthusiast, I don't know what will. Anyway, the area has two flat rides, Ostrich Stampede and Mamba Strike, both of which are nice little well-themed rides. I haven't been on either of them, but... Uh, you know, they look nice. I love how the coaster wraps around the area. Like, when you're in it, anywhere you look, you can see it, unless you're just staring at the floor, I guess. Speaking of the coaster, that's what I'm here to review. So, um, the queue is a pretty bare castle pen with not too much theming, apart from a truck and some posters on the wall, which do have some pretty cool Easter eggs and small details. And you also get some sick views of the coaster and the Jaguar statue. You then come into the station, which is very well themed, but the operations for Mandrill Mayhem are almost too good because you only have like 10 seconds to appreciate it before you're sitting down in the train. Like once when I went on it, they were literally shouting for us to be quicker. However, here are some cool details from the station. The sign that says warning mandrels. I don't know why, I just find it funny. And the cut out hands at the back, which means it look like the coaster is smashed through the station, which is a pretty nice touch. Now let's move on to the ride experience. Now, this is one of those coasters that differs on every row you ride it on, even the back seats face backwards. So I'll try to explain how the ride is from different parts of the train. So first the train launches backwards out of the station. Nothing too forceful, it is a family coaster after all. And you go up a beyond vertical spike or a scorpion tail. Now, if you're at the front, this feels like absolutely nothing at all. But at the back, it might as well be another inversion. It feels really cool at the back and you get some crazy hang time, so I'd recommend the back few rows for this coaster. After this, you come back down again and launch out of the station. The launch is pretty cool. It's more forceful towards the front, but it doesn't really impact on the overall experience. Then you go through the inline twist, which gives a lot of hang time. It's a cool first inversion for little ones, and you do feel the effects of gravity pulling you down in your restraint. It's not an intense inversion and it's more slow and relaxed. Then you turn around the outside of Ostrich Stampede and go into another lawn. There are some spikes sticking out of the ground here, but I didn't notice it until I watched a POV like a month later. Anyway, there are fun near Miss Element if you notice them. The launch then gives you just enough momentum to climb the double helix around this Jaguar statue, where you stay suspended for a pretty long time. When I was up there, I remember thinking, uh, okay, so uh, when are we going to go back down? Like, you could literally write a novel up there. And the vest restraints do kind of dig into your shoulder when you're up there for so long. Um, by the way, when I say it's a long time, I mean like two seconds. Finally, you head back down the spike and do the whole thing backwards or forwards if you're in the back row. It's very fun and I feel like the inversion is slower on the way back. Then you come back into the station and that's my draw mayhem. Yeah, it's short, but I do believe that it packs a punch. Obviously, it isn't intense or anything. It's a family thrill coaster which I think it succeeds at being. I've seen other reviews treat it like it's supposed to be massively thrilling, which it isn't. It's for kids. If you want thrills, go to Thought Park. Anyway, it's a nice step up from the other rides at Chessington, and I think it's a good investment for the park. 
My one concern is the virtual queue. It always seems to make things too complicated, and I think it would be fine without it. In fact, when I went on a busy day, they took it off the virtual queue towards the end of the day, and the queue was only 20 minutes long, although it was advertised as 70 minutes, so that's a little suck chess into it. Overall, I think Mandra Mayhem and the world of Jumanji is pretty cool. It's well themed and the coaster is fun and unique. I would personally recommend a trip to Chessington World of Adventures to check it out. Goodbye!